hello everybody um if you are watching this and i'm not sure if it's live if there's a live scrolling chat moving to your right um it might be down a little bit but it'll be on the right side if it's a chat with people talking and whatnot then it is a live chat if you don't see that and you only see a comment box below like a normal video then it is not live and it is a recording Hi, Crafty Caboose. Hi, Kitty Cat. Hi, Crafty Caboose. <laughs> I said your name twice because it came up twice and I wasn't looking. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Bewitched. Hi, Emily. Hi, Deb. Hi, Christy. Awesome. So what's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Carol. Hi, Tori. Everybody having a good night? Hopefully you're having a good night. Oh, really? Oh, good. I hope you do. Get some crafting in. Do some crafting. <laughs> You're de stashing. Sounds fun. You're knitting a poncho? Cool. I wish I knew how to knit to make things like a ponchos and stuff. You were doing some cooking, Emily. That's cool. Yeah, I've been cleaning up my craft area and... Of course I asked Chris to do something, but of course that didn't get done today. Describe steampunk. Um, you're better off looking up. It's hard to describe, but it's basically Victorian era, era meets like industrial, and it's you know what I mean. So it's basically it's basically vintage. A lot of times, there's a lot of gears and cogs and screws and bolts and. It's very like industrial looking with metals and all that stuff. And then it has like a Victorian air to it. But if you look up steampunk on Google and then look at images, it'll give you a better idea of what steampunk is. Um, because it's sometimes hard, hard to explain, but easier to look at pictures of it. And it's not hard to get into if you have some, I mean, it's not expensive to get into. I mean, you can go to the hardware store and get some of the stuff you need, you know, just some screws and bolts and things. And if you want the basic thing that you, most people use is charms that are like cogs and watch part type charms. Like I'll show you, I'm sure you've seen them before. But this type of stuff, you can go on eBay and for like five or six dollars, you can get, you know, a, a bunch. But it's this type of stuff that's mainly a lot of people use. And then you could also get like, uh, like a Sizzix die or that kind of die, like a die cutting die. And of cogs, Tim Holtz has one, has a couple of them actually. And you can get one of those and pretty much you'd be set. That's all I have. I have gears like this and then I have some dies, some paper, you know, cutting dies of gears and that's it. And then maybe a stencil, which I barely use the stencil as I, I mean, I use the stencil, but not as much as I use the dies and the charms and then just screws and bolts and little metal pieces. And I make faux rust on things or I make real rust on things. Like I do all kinds of things like that for steampunk. Um, you don't need to buy very much at all. 
Uh, I think the most important thing to buy would be some charms and a die. And then you're set. You can do a lot of different steampunk with that stuff. Oh, I got a little happy mail I want to show first. I got a happy mail. Happy mail. I don't want to show her address. I don't think you'd possibly see it even if you tried because it's so tiny I could barely see it and the paper is like shiny. Really cool envelope and I love her stamps. I love the fairy on the mushroom. I have that one um, but I love this one's really cute. Really cute and I love the one on the snail. That's adorable. But anyway, it's from Satu, S-A-T-U. She's in our group and I've seen her in our live stream sometimes. Um, really sweet of her. Really sweet of her um, to send me this. I haven't opened it yet. Ooh, look how pretty. Gorgeous. She did a really nice job. Oh, she has a blog. Well, wait, is this her card that she made? I'm assuming it is, but she has a blog and it's here. You can look at it and see. I don't know. All right, focus. SKI67.blogspot.fi. Not sure, um, but really pretty. She's from Finland. Oh, so cute. I seen this. Was that her ATCs that was had this little skeleton on it? It's so cute. Hi, anybody that came in that I didn't say hello to. Hello. So cute. Little die cut. Oh, this is cute. I love it. <laughs> so neat. Some like potion bottles. Cool stuff. Ashes of ex lovers. Cool. Mummy ribs. <laughs> These are funny. Those will be good for Halloween. Yep, I'm gonna cut the adhesive off of this because I get annoyed by the adhesive. <laughs> I might not be, all right, I'm not gonna bother trying to get that back in there. Oh, I didn't see the cauldron and the witch. That's a cool witch. How cute. Look at her ATCs. She made them. They look just like the ones I made. That's so funny. Hers came out so much like mine. <laughs> oh, I love this one. That's cool. I like the way she outlined it with the little pointies, pointy things. Hi, Angela. Yeah, soon it'll be. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Look at this cool ATC. That's awesome. That is badass. So cool. Oh, and there's another one. Ooh, she gave me four. I feel special. That is so cool. She did such a good job. Amazing. Ooh, and some fairy pictures. emboss these. They're all glittery. 
Very pretty. I like this mermaid. Ooh, black and blue. Very cool. Thank you so much. These are amazing. Very, very cool. I'll read the later. The, yep, I'll read the letter later in more detail. That was really sweet of her. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, Carol, I want to come over. <laughs> so today, um, uh, I want to make some of these. Ah. Uh, I have googly eyes, but I don't have the tiny little googly eyes, so I'm just going to use like gems or something, but isn't this cute? Um, and I want to make some of these. And I made one already, but it was just like out of yellow cardstock just to see, because I don't have the exact things and the exact sizes. I have some of the things. So what I decided to do was kind of modify it and make it a little different, um, a little bit smaller and just a little different. And this is what I came up with. Um, so that would be mine. Of course, I'm going to do it in two different colors and decorate it. It's not going to be yellow. That was just my mock-up. So it's kind of like the mama poodle and the baby poodle. You know what kind of glue is the best to use to glue sand onto cardstock? I would say probably Aileen's or even um, Aileen's or even uh, even just um, Elmer's glue would work. But yeah, if you have Aileen's, use that. Hi, Mary. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, obviously, this was just my mock-up. This was just me playing around, trying to figure out how to do it with the stuff that I had, because I don't have the exact size of things. I didn't have that oval for the head, stuff like that. So I had to figure out how to do it that would work best for my poodle, for my craft supplies. I think the only thing I'm going to do is shorten the legs a little bit because otherwise it looks more like a standard poodle and I want it to look more like a toy poodle like Tigger. So we're going to, I'll show you how I did mine because obviously I can't show you how she did hers because I don't have some of the things. <laughs> so um, what I used is I used this heart punch by, I think this is EK Success. I used this little flower punch by EK, EK Success. I used this one inch scalloped punch by EK Success. I pretty much used all EK Success punches. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just use these. Um, and I have this one, which is one and three quarter inch. And that made for larger, so maybe I'll do some larger ones, but look how much bigger it is than this one even. So it's even larger than this one. So the in-between size, I have this size, but it's not scalloped, so it wouldn't give it that little. And I have scissors, but I don't feel like going through all that. I mean, you can, and I'll, I could show you that option if, if you don't have scalloped circles, I could, but you have the scissors that make scalloped, I can show you an option um, to make it yourself, but, uh, but I use these three punches, and then I just cut some straight pieces for the legs, and, uh, that's pretty much what I used, and then I haven't figured out, I haven't done the eyes or anything yet, because like I said, I just did this mock-up, um, hi Tamara, long time no see girl, so we're going to give it a try and I'm going to make uh, a pink one 
and a black and gray one to match Tigger. And I got paper and Happy Mail, so we're going to use some of that. Oops. Why is that not working? Oh, because that's in the way. What's this? That's not it. I don't know why I have that. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, uh, I'm going to cut out three of the one-inch scallop circles. And then, uh, well, out of the same thing, I'm going to cut out five of the little flower, one each for each foot, and then for the tail. And then you need one heart, which I'm going to cut the rest out of here. So I'm going to cut the heart. So you could do this with the three E-Cake Success punches that I'm showing you. The heart, the scallop circle, and that little flower. And then you can just cut the rest out of paper because it doesn't take much to cut the rest of the things you need. Like a piece about that big. And you can cut the legs and the neck and the base, of the base for the tail. So that's really all you need are these things. Hi, Mary. So we need four legs. So I'm just gonna cut four little strips you know, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just eyeballing it because. And then I'm going to cut two more, one for the neck and one for the tail. Same size. Uh, I might even, well, I might make, no, the neck is good. I can probably make the neck a little thicker than the legs maybe. But this is fine for this one. Now the tail and the neck you don't need to, and actually this will probably be good for both the tail and the neck. Um, I probably don't need all those. And the feet, I put them all together. And um, round off one side. Just give it a basic rounding. That's good enough. I'm not even going to need them this long. I'm probably going to end up cutting them down. So there you go. You got your feet. Start them off long and we're going to cut them down. And then you got your tail and your neck. Just cut it in half. Tail and your neck. And that's all you need. That's all your pieces. So the first thing is first, I'm going to take the legs and on the part where it's, let me zoom you in a little. Hopefully we'll stay in camera view. I'll move it down just a little. Okay, so right on the bottom where they're curved, I'm going to put their feet just above it. Now she has hers up a little bit more. I don't like it up that far. I whenever I would only because I have a poodle and I know how to I know how I groom him myself and I cut his hair and I've I've done the puffs on the feet and it's very very little that shows out the bottom. So I'm going to do them just a little bit closer to the bottom. That's just personal preference. You can do it however the heck you want to do it. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue and put it right where this, where, like, you know, where I, how I curved the edges of it. 
So I just put it right above where I curved the edge on the foot, just so a little bit shows. If you have a comment or a question for me, make sure you put it in all caps. And I apologize if it takes me a minute to see it, especially if I'm doing something. I have a tendency to not look at the chat enough. Hi, Nancy. These poodles are so stinking cute. I'm going to make a slew of them because, uh, yeah, because I should, because, yeah. And apparently the, it was, somebody did it on a blog post on how to make them because I guess you can do all kinds of things with your punches and make all different kinds of animals, which I'm kind of new to that. I've seen it before, but never paid too much attention to it, but now... I'm like, okay, I want to pay attention to all the different types of little animals that you can make. I would love to find like a kitty cat that you can make easily with like your different punches and stuff. And that would be really cute. Okay, so I've got all four legs. Now I'm going to take the body and I'm just going to take two of these and put them together right at the edges. Like, like right at the edges here. I'm not going to like overlap them too much. I'm just going to overlap the very edges of them. That's all it needs. Just enough to hold them together, basically. Now my feet pom-poms are the same size as hers. It must be, it's either, it's probably the same punch almost. Not exactly, but probably very similar. Um, but even with a smaller body, it still worked out fine. And I'm going to make my legs go in a little shorter, which I might actually, I'm just going to cut them a little shorter. What I'll do is I'll do it all at once. I'll put them all on top of each other again. Because I don't want them as long as I had made them the last time. So I'm going to cut off a bit. And then I'm going to glue two to the back circle hump and put the glue on the front at the top. And put two back here. And they're going to overlap each other. Because obviously my little flowers are bigger. They'll overlap slightly, but that's fine. It's still cute. Tigger seems to be unhappy that I'm doing this. I don't know why. It's so weird. Oh, did I accidentally glue two of them together? I did. It got stuck behind the other one. I don't know. He was being all weird when I was getting the stuff ready and to do the live stream. I don't know. What could be his problem? Hi, Patricia. So there we go. Now, this is where I'm going to attach the neck. So I'm going to put the glue on the front and then put it from behind, coming up from the, the front little hump. And then I'm going to put the face on, and that's the heart. And I'm just going to put at the very tip, glue the bottom little pointy tip, and then glue it on like that. Just so a little bit of the neck shows. Not much. I need a baby wipe because I'm getting glue all over everything. And my baby wipes are always being a pain in the ass, as usual. That's because they're ass wipes. <laughs> Literally. Why are they doing this to me? 
wrong with these things? There we go. Everything's getting st stuck to the glue. I totally will. I'm going to actually get some more ideas to do with, with simple punches. I don't, I really don't want to show too many ideas that you have to do with specific punches that people might not have. Whereas these pretty much are pretty general punches, you know, a scallop punch or whatever. I don't want to show people things where you have to go out and spend a lot of money on punches that you might not have. But most people have general scallop circles or circles. So, and then other things, you know, you can cut certain punch scallop circles into other things. Like I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Um, like her ears on this one are just rounded and it looks like they're just like a teardrop shape. I don't have a teardrop shape punch. And obviously anybody can, you know, cut out a teardrop shape. It's not rocket science. Um, I have a video on my homemade wipes. Oh, how do they work? Oh, I was, <laughs> I thought you meant how do, how do I make them? Um, they work fine. I just haven't made any cause I've been lazy and I didn't have the paper towels to do it. <laughs> I've been kind of, usually I buy paper towels in bulk, but I haven't had the money lately. So I'm kind of watching how I use my paper towels, but I already had baby wipes to use cause I use them in the bathroom. So I just pulled some out of there. And I ended up, I ended up buying a not like a bulk amount of baby, baby wipes, but I didn't buy a bulk amount of paper towels. So I had more baby wipes than paper towels. So, um, but I like baby wipes better only for one reason, because if I'm using paint and stuff like the, the homemade wipes are great. They work fine. They work fantastic. No problem. Um, they almost work better than regular baby wipes. However, they're not as, they're not as nice to save. You know what I mean? Like when you're saving your baby wipes to use it like painty stuff on them, they're not quite as nice as the regular baby wipes to save. Um, and sometimes I like to save my baby wipes when I use paint. Um, where was I? Yeah. Okay. So then you're going to take your other scallop and this one's going to go on top of the heart, like right above the, where the little thing dips in. You're just going to glue this right at the top of it. And I only put a little glue just so that I can stick the ears in because we're going to put the ears on next. And then the ears. Oh, I forgot one. The ears. Duh. You need another scallop of the solid color. I forgot the ears. Dang it. I knew I was going to forget something. And um, did I use one of these or two of these? I think I used two of these to be exact. Two of the solid color scallops. That's right. See? Unprepared. I used two of them and I put them together and cut them at one time. And what you do is... You cut it so that it has, like if you could see, you cut it like so that it has four of the scallops at the bottom and then you just taper it up. So basically what I did was I started here and like here's, let me get to a better one. One, two, three, four. And basically what I do is the one in the middle up here, I go like that and go to it like that. And then find a one, two, three, four and put my finger by it. And I cut cut it off. And then if I have to adjust anything, which I think I do a little bit, just adjust it so that it's doesn't have to be that bulbed out the way I had it before, but just so it looks like that. Okay. 
and you can actually use what you cut off of it that part you can use that as like a necklace maybe or something I don't know you could cut off a couple more and do that and sparkle it if you want to I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use some little gems and then you would glue the ears behind there like so on either side of the head that's why I said don't glue it down like solid because you want and well I mean if it's still wet it shouldn't be an issue with getting it stuck down but I probably didn't put the top far enough up on his face because his eyes are barely going to show <laughs> but that's okay that's all right. See, I like the long ears. And I got glue all over it. What's nice about baby wipes, too, whether you make them yourself or use the regular ones, you can wipe your glue off of things so it doesn't leave a residue behind. I could have made his neck a little bit straighter. Let me make it a little straighter. There we go. Okay, and now his tail. That's simple. I dropped my baby wipe. And cut off a little bit of this. The tail, you just... See, she's got her sticking straight out that way. Which is cute, but I like it up a little bit because Tigger's tail stands straight up pretty much. And then just glue that on. Which actually, I'm going to cut the tail thinner. And there you go. There's the base of the poodle. Isn't that cute? I love it. And as I make them, I will get faster and faster. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I was going to do that too and I didn't even think of it. I totally forgot because I got so into putting it together. I meant to take my hot pink, my hot pink uh, ink. And go around the edges and I totally forgot but that's okay I'll do it on the next one well, thank you for reminding me miss Debbie because I almost forgot so uh, I'm gonna use little gemstones for the eyes Not these. Let's see, little ones. Yeah, I think the polka dots are cute. Cute. And I've got teeny tiny little gems. I just need something to put them in. Oh, here we go. So I can look at them and try to find a couple of pink ones. Here's one. I have these pink ones. Are these? I think these are too big, though. Are they too big? Well, that one's not. There we go. There's two pink ones. Okay. Now for these, I will use glossy accents, which. Stick on a stick a drop. I 
Where's my thing? Um, where the hell is it? There it is. for the nose. So cute! It has life. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute! Oh my goodness, that's so cute! All right, now let me put this on here. Now I will put some stickles. Oh, get over your stickles. Oh yeah, you know what? You you was it you that asked me to do that and I've forgotten? Yeah, I will. I want I it's on my list anyway of things to do and didn't I do one already? Have you looked to see if I've done one just to hold you over until I do another one? But I think I've, I want to say I did one already. I don't know. I don't remember things I do. I thought I did one already. I might not have, but I thought I did. Why does my baby wipe insist on falling off of my lap? It's like, screw you. I'm not going to sit where you want me to. Well, I guess that covers up the polka dots a little much. Oh well, I'll know that for next time. Not to use, maybe just use it on the edges if I'm going to use any kind of pattern. I thought it would see through it more. That's alright. I thought it would show through a bit more than it does. Maybe I should just glitter the ears next time. But it is still adorkable. I didn't put a necklace on it, but when it dries, I'm, I was going to put some rhinestones. Um, or not rhinestone, not like rhinestones like this, but like a little rhinestone chain type of thing when it dries. All right, we'll set that one aside. up my baby wipe for the ninth time. All right, let me move that out of the way. Let's do a black and gray one. And I'm going to do the face and everything in gray and do the other parts black. You haven't missed anything. Hi, Sean. See, I remembered. My brain didn't draw a blank. 
All right, so the black will be all the other bits. Where'd my punch go? There it is. So I need one, two, three, four, five of these. One, and I dropped one. Two, three, four, five. Five of these and five of the other ones. If I can find the one that I just dropped on the floor. Of course. Where else would it have gone? And it didn't just drop, of course. Oh, no, no. It completely disappeared. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm just going to punch another one. I can give a rat's ass, honestly, to fight with what falls on the floor anymore. <laughs> okay. Black poofs. Now I need a black. Where's the little one at? Really? Is that going to disappear too? What the ever-loving hell? There it is. Good God. I haven't even gotten my desk very messy yet, and I'm already losing everything. And there goes that one, which I'm not going to fight with. goes on the floor I'm just gonna cut another one <laughs> so five flower five scallop circles one hair off of my head that's important and then out of this we'll do the heart for the face tail and such. Oh, I hate when that happens, Cynthia, when you lose something that you know you have. <laughs> okay, and then we need a tail. And four legs. Well, that can be the neck because it's a little thicker. And neck. Okay, is that everything? I think so. What's this? an extra pink piece. Alright. Oh, I gotta do these first. I only lose stuff when I clean up if I'm if I don't put it in the right place and then I or I put it in a different place than I normally do because I decide oh well this would look be better here and then I go back to it later and I forget that I moved it that's when I lose things all right so I'm gonna do the feet first Oh yeah, before I do that, before I glue it all together again, 
going to use some silver because Tigger is black with a little silver here and there because he's getting older. And yes, dogs do get gray hair. <laughs> and of course, I had to get that in the center of the thing, didn't I? That's better. Even poodles get gray hair. I'm smearing it, which is not helping because it's so tiny. I think I'll do half of it. We'll let it dry and do the other half because I'm making a giant mess. Hi, Gwen. We're making poodle embellishments. And if I get sick of doing this, I have something else to do, too. But I'd like to make a few of these, at least, to have some to give away and whatnot. Apparently I'm an ink mute too, not just a scissor mute, when I'm inking things. <laughs> I don't speak either. I don't know why that is. Hi Kendra, did you go away and come back? Kendra likes to make double appearances apparently. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> are you working? What are you working on, Kendra? What's in your living room, Janie? Your craft desk? Is the other side of these able to be touched so I don't smear them? Kind of. No, nope, not that one. This one. Problem is this ink pen is very wet. A bit of other wet. Okay.
Yeah, Kendra does make beautiful paper beads. Have you been making more? I'm I'm not making another Tigger. Well, what gives you that idea? Is it because it's black? Are you a are you a poodle racist? <laughs> you think because I'm making a black poodle, I must be making a Tigger? No, I'm not making another Tigger, despite what some might think, including somebody that might be in the room with me. Is that why he was acting so strange before I started my live stream? Because he overheard me saying that I was going to be making more poodles. Well, I told him, I said, I'm going to make more Tiggers tonight. I don't think he, I think he took it literal. I don't think he understood. Actually, I can use that one. Hi, Pixie. All right. Now we're going to glue together a little a little body. I made this poodle with really short legs. Let's grab the tail and use it as a leg. Do. All I hear out my window is the racetrack, which is like two miles from here. And all I hear is them racing. Yeah, way out in the sticks where I live, there's a racetrack, <laughs> like an amateur racetrack. Huh. 
Who's got breadsticks? I want breadsticks. Oh, your baby is on pain meds and she's loopy. She had her teeth done. Is that what you said? I don't know why I did these two. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I did the whole thing because I got these are the ones I'm cutting into the ears, but that's fine. It don't matter. I'm going to put this up just a little bit because of the face. I put it down too low. <laughs> he looks funny like this. <laughs> oh, that ticker. He's a funny guy. All right, now I'm going to cut them into ears. Cut his ears. Which reminds me, I need to give, I need to groom Tigger. I'm probably going to do it myself. I usually do it myself, but when I was sick, I couldn't. I like to do it myself. Because, uh, I do a better job than most groomers do. I do it the way I want it. It looks like Tigger. <laughs> the ears. The ears give it away. That's the way his head looks all the time. Especially when he's groomed and his face is nice and clean shaved. His ears always look like they're sticking out like that. <laughs> That's like exactly how he looks. Who here has poodles? Does anybody have a poodle? I know somebody does, cause I, but I don't remember. Let's see, I've got tiny pink ones in there. Oh, you have a poodle, Michelle? Awesome. And Anne has a poodle. If it's not a poodle, it's just a dog. <laughs> I had that on the back of my car for so long. And I still have another um, vinyl decal that to put on another car that says the same thing. It says if it's not, if it's not a poodle, it's just a dog. <laughs> That's how old Tigger was when he, or not Tigger, not Tigger, not Tigger, Piglet. That's how old Piglet was when he died. <laughs> Tigger's not dying. Tigger's not dead. Go well, science, science.
that's a different one than that one. Oh, I have to get a different rhinestone because that one's not the same. And I don't know why I can't pick it up. Good lord. Come on, turn over. Good God. That's not the right one either. I used to have a cat who thought she was a dog. She thought she was a dog, just short of barking. She didn't bark, but... <laughs> Yeah, my mom's cat, years ago, she used to fetch. Yeah, you could teach a cat to fetch. So cute. Now this one has a friend. I should put sparkle on that one. I have black stuff, but it's not... Is it? Oh yeah, this one's sparkly. I keep thinking this is not the sparkly one. I'm not going to do the main body, I'm just going to do the feet, the tail, and the head. This one's about dry. So we have the little black one and the little pink one. I actually like the short little legs. They're really cute.
what if Susan type? Trying to keep up. Put a bow on each ear. Yeah, I could do that. I just don't have any bows. Yeah, I'm going to save the embellishing until after the glitter dries. Um, I don't have any bows. I'd have to make bows, and to make bows that tiny would be... Yeah, she meant put a. Put is one word. <laughs> In my world it is. Now yeah, what color should I do? I know. We'll do like a more hot pink. And oh no. This pink. I don't think I have two tiny heart. I don't know if I have a tiny heart punch. I don't think so. I was thinking of putting um, maybe I don't know, like a rhinestone, like a rhinestone. I can see if I can find small enough ribbon to make a bow, but we'll see if I am able to do that. Alright! Where did my punches go? This one. I need five of these. Go that way. Don't you fall on the floor. Bows. <laughs> Lynn wants me to put bows on the bitch. Aren't you demanding? She says, put bows on the bitch. <laughs> She's not a bitch. She's a nice poodle. I need to find tiny. I mean, look how tiny those ears are. They're not as big as these are. And this one has it. That's a small bow. And it's on the head. It's not even on the ears. Well, these ears are actually bigger than these. But I can't imagine trying to find or put tiny, that tiny of bows. I don't think she needs them necessarily. But I don't know. I might get yelled at if I don't put them on. See if I can round these suckers better than last time because last time I 
not very easy to round things. That actually looks cute though. Doesn't have to be perfectly round. That'll work. This time. I can use some white. Eh, stop it. So has anybody looked up what other animals we can make? Or what other animals are out there that I should try to make? Keeping in mind I don't have that many. I mean, I have punches, but not very many. Most of them I got the like, creative reuse or whatever. I only bought a few basic ones, but... Where's Danina? Are you here, woman? Lynn would know. Where's Danina? I have a feeling she's... Is she here somewhere? Is she lurking? Who's a sheep? What's a sheep? Oh, sheep. You mean... The, yeah, um, actually, when I was doing my prototype, I came up with something that was like a sheep, kind of. Um... I'll have to try it. I don't know. It's probably not really a sheep. She's sleeping. How the hell is she sleeping for? Is she sick? What about Jewel? Where the hell is Jewel at? She ain't sleeping. They can't both be sleeping. Ah, yeah, that'll put you to sleep. <laughs> one. I missed one of the little flower doohickeys. <clears throat> Alrighty then. use this paper. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I wanted to use this paper. Never mind. Never mind. I'm still an idiot, but I'm not an idiot for that. <laughs> I'm an idiot for other reasons. <laughs> I thought I wanted to use different color paper, but I don't actually. Hmm. 
Is it hot there? It's stormed here all day long. Oh, hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, it thundered and lightning like hell out today. What temperature was it in Wisconsin, Mary? Hi, Sandra. We're making poodles. We're making glorious poodles. Because why not? Life is too short not to make poodles. I got a splinter in my finger yesterday and I can't get it out. It hurts. I heard if you put glue on it, but I don't know if that's going to work in this case. Because I think it's way under the skin. I don't think it's sticking out at all. So, I don't see that being a solution anytime soon. Your poodle ended up being five inches tall. There's nothing wrong with that. You have bigger um, punches, I take it. Bigger circles. That's okay. I think the one that that was made for me was is. In, uh, Debbie, you made that one for me, right? Did you make this one for me, Debbie? This one's pretty tall. Let's see how tall it is. This one's four and a quarter. So what's three quarters more inch? I've had people make poodles for me in the past. That's why I can't remember. Brain fart. But I think, I think Debbie made that one for me, right? No? No, not you. Okay. Then I don't remember. Because I have some that other people have made for me. Like these, which are adorable. These are made with either a cricket dye or 
some other, not a cricket die, but like a cricket machine or, or something or silhouette, or it's made with a die that I don't have. And then there's this one. So, yeah, this had to be made with a Cricut or something because you made two different sizes. And then I've had other ones made for me as well. Um, and then I have a die. Nope, not that one. I have a die too to make a poodle. But it's not a, like an intricate die or anything. Alright, Pixie, see you later. So I'm thinking the next challenge for the group will be tags. What do you guys think of that? To make and send out tags? over a hundred degrees that sucks let's put some eyeballs on this bitch before Lynn yells at me Um, yeah, I, I am going to set a size, like I'm going to set like a minimum size and that's it. So it can be as big as you want it to be, but I think we're going to do like three tags to send out to people, three tags minimum, and then, uh, 
you can send as many you can make and send as many as you want though so if you want to make 10 you can go ahead and make 10 Clear for the eyes. You just need a clear one. Weird color. There's a clear one. This one's like a real weird gray color. Well, if it's tiny, it's probably not going to work. We're probably going to do a minimum of like these kind, which are the, I think we're going to do these, which will be the smallest you can do. I'm thinking because this is a pretty standard size good to work on fits in a business size envelope um, what are these six six and a quarter by three I guess yeah six and a quarter by three ish or is it three and a quarter it's a weird size well whatever six and let's say six by three you can make it six and a, these are six and a quarter, but if you're making them just six by three, let's do that because that's a good size to work on. You could do a, a you know, decent piece of art on it, you know, and if you're going to ship them internationally, you might want to do them pretty flat, but that gives you room to, you know, really do some art on them and I'll do videos and stuff. So to give, to give some ideas and, and stuff like that. But I think six by three is a good size, don't you agree? It's not too small. It's a, it's a good size to to do art on. Cute. Yeah, Amanda, you would decorate it kind of like you do an ATC, just in a tag. You know what I mean? You would just make it a little bigger. You know, just like any, you know, mixed media, you can do it just like an ATC, however you want to do it, you know. Basically, yeah, it's kind of like an ATC, but bigger. That's, that's a good way to think of it. So you can make, you can make your own tags. You don't have to buy them. 
I like making my own tags a lot of times, especially like depending on what I'm doing. Like if I want to do watercolor, I'll make them out of watercolor paper. You know what I mean? So don't go, you don't have to buy tags. You could just make them out of paper. And just punch a hole in it and add uh, some fibers to the top of it and it's basically an ATC with fibers hanging out of the top of it. <laughs> so cute! Now we've got that one, that one, and this one, which isn't quite dry yet. I love them. They is cute. But I think I'm going to switch gears for a while. Oh, I do want to show you I did my um, hearts. I finally sewed them, the ones that we made. I finally sewed these, put their little stitching in. And like my sewing machine has some cute little options like that has, it's upside down, but it has like a little heart stitch. Come on, focus. Stop going in and out and just focus. See the hearts? Isn't that cute? And then this one has like little asterisks type of thing. See it in the gold thread? Isn't that cute? And then this was like one of those aztec -y style squiggle line square thingy, if it would focus. And these I just did around the outside because they're so much. Come on, focus back here. There you go. And then just did some straight stitching there. And on this one. And then these just have it around the outside. But yeah, I did that. And I did this one. This one I did the hearts on either side and then just did a zigzag in the middle. Why is this on yet gaming? What does that mean? What are you doing? You're making crafts? Well, better than what you do, be an asshole. <laughs> Being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> stupid stuff yeah because your 14 year old life is just so full of intelligent things to do <laughs> I love kids <laughs> I love them love them spawns of hell <laughs> stupid stuff <laughs> That was so witty of him. Ah, you missed an asshole. Excuse the French. Yep, that's what you missed. Nothing. It's a Saturday night, so they're going to be out in full force. If it was like a Monday night, they'd be in bed right now for school. But, you know. It's Saturday night, and their mom is probably hammered, had too much wine, doesn't give a crap what their kid's doing, and so their kids are going online, pissing people off left and right. Parenting goals! <laughs> Those are the type of kids that I used to clean the parents' house for, is the kids that would sit on the internet and do stuff like that, because they had no parental guidance whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you. 
I didn't even see you come in, Janet, or were you, did you just get here? And <laughs> that's the first thing you did. That was your first interaction for the night. <laughs> oh, that's right. It is summer and no school. I forgot. I forgot. Well, he probably has summer school, so let's not say no school because he likely fl failed something and is in summer school. <laughs> Hi, Weiss. Did you just get here? How did you know that we were just talking about tags? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Yes, we were just talking about doing tags for the next thing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's a gnat. Get out of here. Get. Sorry if that was loud. Why is there gnats in my office? There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here for that damn thing to be after. Except to annoy me. That's why they're put on this earth. To piss me off. All day long, all I do is sit and, and gnats are everywhere. I'm not exactly sure why. Why are you telling me to read the chat? I don't need to read the chat. I don't know. Yes, gnats love me. They sure do. I want to play with something else now. I'm bored of that. <laughs> I have something else I want to play with. Something Janet gave me, actually. Or sent me. I'll make sure I don't have crap all over my desk. Oh, and I need to zoom out a little bit because I feel like I'm just too zoomed. I'll zoom in one more. There we go. All right, let me go get what I wanted to get. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Janet gave me a kit, and they're actually ATCs, and I didn't know that. It says, it, it said something, what is it, domino card or something weird? I don't know, it didn't say ATC, so I, I didn't know what it was at first. But when she said ATC, it made sense. So it's got all kinds of goodies. And it comes with all this stuff. So it's like a kit. I'm not going to follow it to a T. I don't want to do that. I don't. Oh, it's ATCs and envelopes. Oh, see, now here it says artist trading card kit, but on the front of it, it didn't say that.
Yeah, I don't really... I'm probably not going to use those things. I might use some of these things. These are cute. These are cute little stickers. Maybe some of the words and stuff. A lot of these are, I guess, children. I'm going to unchildren it. And maybe just use some of the other words, like inspire and grow, or not grow. Beauty and happy and laugh and fantastic without all the other childy stuff. You know what I mean? But it comes with ribbon and such. And all these little rhinestones and stuff. And they're cute because they open up like so. So they're like a flip book. Now I just need to figure out how to... Oh god. Is this one of those things that's going to get on my nerves because I can't figure it out? Why won't it fold back up? Is it, does it have to be folded a specific way? Okay, I got it. <sighs> Things like that test my patience. <laughs> Let me just make sure I remember. Okay. Okay. So there's bunches of those. And then there's... Oh, what's that? Just cut it into ATCs? Oh no, I don't want to cut it. Whoa, what was that? Oh, look at this. Fancy. That's cute. These are cute. Okay, so there's those. What's in here? I don't want to cut them into ATCs. I'm going to keep them like that in the ATCs. That's a pocket. And that's a pocket. Is that what I'm catching? Yeah. Okay, so you glue that together into pockets. I don't think I need the plastic anymore. And then what's this? Plain cards and then little frames. Okay. I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And then here's a bunch of paper. Okay. Okay. I want to do one of, not that one. Where'd it go? One of these. We'll do the yellow one. This is the one I started. Nope. Just like this. I did it again. It goes in like this. Like that. that if I cut it here I can make one ATC that does that and this one that just folds over like that and get two out of it so it's not as confusing to fold first of all not as annoying and this one would be like a cute little flippy one and this one can just be like a little that type.
just going to cut this on my lap. try this one. See if it'll work. I think this is the one that I didn't like very much. Oh no, it's okay. Where's the one I was just using yesterday? It's already open. Uh oh. Not that it really matters, I guess, does it? It doesn't matter. What are you talking about? What's Janet, what are you talking about? What's designed by... Oh, this one? Oh, you want me to look on it? I can look. Does it say, maybe? Let's see. What does it say? Maybe it doesn't say. <laughs> um, huh. Never seen anything that doesn't have the name of the business on it. Oh, wait. What's this page? Wait. Here we go. Wait, what's this? <laughs> uh... This is definitely from the UK. Okay, so here's an email address. Here's an email address. So you got if you want a pen or get a pen if you want it. And it's gonna be right above my finger if I can get it under the camera. Leonis ATCs at hotmail.co.uk. That's the most I can find. Creative memories? No, I think this is like a personal person. I don't think this is like a big company. Because the only thing on here is that it was in a box, but I took it. How easy is shipping? Oh, okay. Well, you can try emailing that lady, Leonis at whatever.
both my colors. Hi, Sumo. Sue, I can't say your name. Sue. Hi, Sue. up all night. Where do you live again? Oh, so you are the you are the person who sent me this. See, I didn't know I knew I know your Facebook name, but I didn't put it together with your YouTube name. So you sent me this. So I got it. So Satu is your actual name, S A T U. Hi, Greyhounder. I'm assuming that this is you're the one who gave this to me. I showed it earlier. It's Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. I love all the stamped images. That card you made is adorable. So now at least I know I had a feeling that you guys that it was the same person. I would when I saw the Facebook, I kept thinking I bet you that's, you know, who I call Sue from the thing, from the live stream. Oh, I made that crooked. That's okay. It don't matter. A little crooked never hurt nobody. This one over here. Then should I do the insides too? Probably. Oh, it's so complicated. My God. My life keeps getting so complicated. <laughs> now I've got to cut two more little pieces of paper. Oh no. I wish those were my only problems in life. That one's crooked too. That's okay. We'll call it the crooked folded ATC. Ah, oh, you made me the poodle. You made me this poodle? What's your name? Wait, Stacy, I made the poodle, poodle for you. Oh, Joan, yeah, Joan, thank you, yes. We were, did you see that we were making them? That I made them, my version of them? We did that, I don't, were you here? You're leaving, Lynn. Good night. I love them. They're so cute. I had forgot who made it for me. And I know I just got it not long ago, but my brain don't work. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put this one, maybe. So I need to cut two more then. I already have that one. I already have that one. So complicated. Do I do this one, but I don't really want to do the yellow. Maybe I'll do the. Oh wait, there's a blue. I like that one. Oh, where'd the other one I went? Oh, here it is. chat just freaked out. Oh, I cut them all different sizes. I didn't realize I was going to cut all of them, all of these. I'm just kind of winging it as I go. Just winging it. You would think I would be over ATCs by now, and I kind of am, but this kit just, it was intriguing to me. I like kits. I just don't like sometimes how much money they people that make them will mark them up to be. And then when you actually pay attention to what is in it, it's like, um, yeah, it's not worth it sometimes. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. are too big. Too big. Let's just decorate it with some stickers and such. These rub-ons are stickers. They're rub-ons. Gotcha. wrong. I made it an 
even. I want to put happy days on the front. I'm winging it. There you go. Do a screw it and do it. Looks like a hula skirt. I dropped a button. Away. Got ya. Jackass. There's little brads in here that I can't get to because they keep sinking to the bottom. There's rhinestones too and little stars. Cute. Waiting for my heat gun to heat up too. Because I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm going to put a butterfly. I was going to put a button because I really like the buttons. They're cute. They're very 70s looking, but I think I'll just save them and 
just do that. same ones what these buttons <laughs> I love these buttons they're from like they're very retro looking from 1970 and I love it okay I'll put those there and I can see is my heat gun hot yet I don't know but we're gonna find out actually I'm gonna stick this down first Stick to my finger. Stick to that. Fiskar's what? Scissors? I love Fiskar scissors. That's what these are. That's what my my one cutter is, and they're a nice company too. There, if you have any issues, they'll fix it, which I like about them. And then this little guy. Let's see. Let's make it so that he's flying. And. I'll put hot glue, even though hot glue and metal don't generally mix, but for this, let's see if it'll work. It's so tiny and thin and light, I think it'll be okay. Side. All this stuff is probably too thick, but I have some things. These here were, I think, $10 or $8, something like that. You can also get these, um, these here for $0.99 cents on eBay. First, take them out of the package. They're greasy because they they come, you know, oiled. So you just need to wipe them down. But these are real sharp, and they're good for fussy cutting as well. And these are ninety nine cents. I mean, I think I like these better. But if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, you can get these. Because, like, I'll show you on this how they cut. I mean, 
They cut nice. They work for small things. And they're very sharp. And they're only 99 cents. <laughs> Too big. Too big. You have what that are rusted? The razor ones that I just showed? The littler ones or these ones? Trisha's been lurking. I do that too, though, because most of the time when I'm watching a live stream, I'm usually doing something, so I don't usually chat. And if I start chatting, people will start, you know, chatting back, and then I'll never be able to walk away because they'll be like, Where'd Stacy go? Where'd Stacy go? So I usually don't say anything. Yeah, this is a, like a, it was like a kit that Janet sent me. And so I've been dying to, to play with it a little bit. And just see what's in here and stuff like that. And mess around. Because it's cute. I'm a sucker for kits. Half the time I never have time to do them because I always have something else I have to do. Like I have to get now started with my with my canvas core prop uh, project because I got my stuff. Oh, I could show you the stuff I got from canvas core. I could do that. I totally forgot. I could show you what they sent me. Hey, Melissa. This one would be better. 
better colors. Let's use one of the rub-ons and rub something on. Let's see. Um, I gotta find a stick. There's a stick. Back here, popsicle stick. I'm not done with you yet. Stop it. Does everything have to fall on the floor? That's a fun sound, isn't it? Must everything drop on the floor? Why? Why? It's literally everything. God. All right, where's the other thing that fell on the floor? Because there's something else. There it is. It never just falls on the floor, it falls and then goes like nine miles away. Okay. And what did I do with the thing I was just working on? Oh, for the love of God. Where'd it go? Is it stuck to the back of this? Yes, it is. I swear it. is falling asleep. Quit! What? This thing is... 
Okay, each color has the alphabet, right? A, A, B, C, D, E, A, A, B, what? Okay, so this is weird. Not, they don't all have this, the right letters. Like this goes A, B, C, D, E, G, instead of F, H, I, J, K, M, it's missing letters. And then the pink goes A, B, C, D, F, missing E, G, H, I, J, missing K, L, F, so bizarre. What the hell was that about? I'm like, where's the F? Where's the F? I'm looking all over for an F, and there's no F. You know, why would there be an F? So, we'll just do... Weird. Just freaking weird. Good God. Most of the letters aren't here that I need. can't even fit what I want to write. <laughs> Barely. Let's see if I can move this over. Friend. It says friend. What did I miss? Now you have to tell me, Spanky. What did I miss? Too much if I add that in there? No, it's fine. Because I really want to add this little thing there. That one's broken. Oh, you know what? I thought of that too when I said something about I said something about something about a stick and I thought about it and then I didn't do it. I was going to say that's what she said, but I didn't do it. I know. <laughs> I know I'm off my game tonight for some reason. I'm going to put another butterfly just because I can. Let's put it down here. Oh, I just put that on all crooked because I dropped it. <laughs> now I'm going to put I'll make up for it. <laughs> Give me another chance. I'll make up for it. I promise. I'll do better next time. J. 
Jack on, Jack off the Jacker. Do something there. I thought about putting that, but that just looks too out of place now. So we're gonna go with another little doodad. Except I put that on there, but that's too big. Stickers? Oh, I thought they were stickers. Well, who's got time for that? I think it's time to cut that out. Or they think we are creative and stuff. like the sticky stuff that's on there. Not a fan. Not a fan. We're going to put a ladybug. We're going to stamp a ladybug on there. Because I say so. And there's nothing you could do to stop me. Nancy. No, you're not late. We're still messing around. We're messing around with this little kit.
They only gave you pink flowers and yellow stars. They were very, very specific on what they, what color these things could come in. There was no exceptions. Hi, Spanky. Guess what you did today? What did you do today? What did you did? Went to the aquarium. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I love the aquarium. I haven't been to one in a really long time. I wish I can go to like an aquarium or something. Something. The aquarium is far away from here. I'm all done. I'm all done with my little with my little ATC. It's like magic. Okay, that was fun. The way mine came out better than their instructions were instructing me to do it. <laughs> I don't follow the rules though. I had these little doohickeys. And these. I need a bag for them. I can use this bag.
know what? And look, I even got some paper strips to put in my little scrap paper because of course I didn't throw these away. <laughs> They're going to go in the little paper. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you my stuff from um, Canvas Corp. Canvas Corp. Uh, uh. Okay. Is what a die, Melissa. These these papers? No. It was a kit that Janet gave me. It's not a die. I like this. It's cute. Oh, and there's this one over here. Okay, this is what I got from Canvas Court. I got these. They're really cute. They're like little coins. I got this, which I'm not sure what it is exactly. It says parchment rub on, but I guess I should open it and see. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it is like it is like a rub-on sheet. Okay. Huh. So it's got everything that's on here just in a bigger on this bigger sheet. Holy mackerel. Oh, these are rub-ons. Check that out. Wow. That's a hell of a rub-on sheet. That's cool. Groovy. Never seen a rub-on sheet like that before. And I should know, I I have I have a collection of rub-ons because I used to love using rub-ons and for some reason I got out of it. So good reason to start up. That's pretty cool. Am I going to do the back of the blank one? What are you talking about? The back of the blank what? The, this, the back, I'm going to put one of my things on the back. It's an ATC. Because it flips. It goes ba -ching, ba -ching. And then the back of it is for my ATC thing. Okay. Then I got this, which is got some really cool textured things in here. Find a way to open it. You know when I cut this off. Because I like to be able to pull things out and put things in without it getting stuck. I'm not going to pull it all the way out. But these are like stickers. But they're all textured like plasticky. But they come off here. And they're stickery but they're very textured. Like they they look they feel the way they look kind of. And it comes with these. And then there's this one which is similar to those like it's almost same thing but it's like a tin type tile thing. And I've got something specifically planned for some of this stuff. And then... I got this. Isn't this cool? This is also 
like a sticker and it peels up there's a hole in the plastic so I can feel it but it sticks up very cool same with this one got a canvas and the space board paint This here it's called coffee shop. And this here, which is called Dragonfly, which I think I already have this one. I think. And it's one of my favorites, this one here. And I think I'm almost out of it too, if it is the same one. I really love it. So that's cool. And then I got this set. Very cool, huh? I got them from Canvas Corp. I'm doing a project for them. Oh yeah, and I got paper too. I forgot about the paper. There was pieces of this paper. Which I don't know if this is supposed to be packing paper or is this supposed to be paper but I think it's just packing paper, to be honest. Um, but it's cool. You, it's like deli paper. And then there's this. Which is... What? That says Canvas Corp. This says Recollections. I'm confused. Why would Canvas Corp send me Recollections paper? Did they make Recollections paper? I'm confused as hell right now. I just noticed that. Why would this say Recollections? Does anybody know the answer to that? Does, does Canvas Corp make Recollections? Why would they give me this? Weird. I don't know. I'll have to ask them. They do make stuff for Michaels? Oh, okay, that's probably why. Alrighty. <laughs> I did not know that. But anyway, I'll be doing a... Um, I'll be doing a canvas project with this. I'll be doing... Uh, I'm probably going to do it... Uh, first, I'm going to do a tag project, which will luckily coincide with our tag thing because I'm thinking we're going to do a tag for our next thing and I was thinking I was going to do a tag so I'll probably do a tag first then if that's the case um, so I can kill two birds and uh, and then I've got a canvas to do and I'll probably then do something else as well Canvas Corp is the company that makes Seven Gypsies, Tattered Angels, and um, Seven Gypsies, Tattered Angels, and well, apparently they make some recollections things too, but um, Seven Gypsies, Tattered Angels, and I can't remember the other one. There was something else, and I can't remember it. Tattered Angels, Seven Gypsies, and shoot. I don't know. It's slipping my mind. Test the color and see. Ugh, that had to make a mess, didn't it? 
course it did. Of course it did. Oh, you finished an ATC? Cool. That's a cool, cool color. Yeah, no, we're not going to check out your childish channel, but thank you. No, that ain't happening. Anyway. And I'm going to do this baseboard one because, yeah. Nice color. Oh yeah, Canvas Corp is huge. Obviously. <laughs> Tattered Angels is Canvas Corp. That's who makes Tattered Angels. Yeah, I really appreciated the people that stepped up to help out. Very cool. I like the colors. That will work well for what I want to do on the canvas. I've had this idea for this canvas for a long time, so this just happened to come at the perfect time. Yeah, I do too. This one here. I like both of them. I love, are you kidding? Glimmer Mist is awesome. I love Glimmer Mist. I, that's one of my go-to sprays when I use sprays. I love it.
But I'm going to get going because it's getting late and I've been up since like 8.30 this morning. I hope you guys had fun with me. I'm still reading the chat. Sorry. I try to catch up with the chat, but it's just hard. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and have something to eat and then chill out for over the rest of the night. I hope you guys had fun. I did. night everybody talk to you soon poodle pack out